Hey, this is Week Sauce 12. I'm here with the Wacom Bamboo Touch Tablet. Uh, little uh, finger input device, kind of like an iPhone. Did an unboxing video already, so I'm going to do just a quick overview of how this thing works. It's got a USB cable. Um, long, but not super long. I don't know. Maybe three, three and a half, four feet, something like that. Just take the uh, USB plug, I've got front model here, and you see the, uh, the light come on right between the buttons here. One cool feature is when you touch it, it kind of glows brighter so you know that it's in use. Um, so let me move my monitor down here. I don't know how well the screen will come on, but uh, we'll see how it works here. So, I move my finger, and the uh, mouse moves. Let's see if I can get a shot there. Pretty easy. If I do two fingers, I can right-click, uh, one finger to click. Um, let me first show you the preferences. Just open up your system preferences. Uh, there's a little bamboo button down here and it's got three tabs tablet touch speed and touch functions um, here are the buttons so those are the uh, clicky buttons right here I don't know how well you can see the, them in the lighting but uh, you can program those you can't program them per application which is kind of annoying because uh, you know if I want a custom function like save in Photoshop um, I'd have to do it just for Photoshop for the global application of that function um, but you can orient it left-handed or right-handed depending on how you want to set it up which is kind of nice like uh, if you're using your mouse on one hand and the tablet on the other you can uh, set it up that way <coughs> excuse me um, next is a touch speed pointer speed pointer acceleration double tap time it's got a little test thing you know you can test to see how it reacts. Uh, it's got scrolling speed. Um, sorry, D90 doesn't have autofocus here, but touch functions um, has a little animation. Uh, for click, you can do um, tap with one finger, add touch to the left. I don't really know what that means. Uh, for right click, tap with two fingers, add touch to the right. Um, drag and select, you can do drag, and then you can do drag lock. And for uh, gestures, gestures, I don't know how to say that, you can do scroll, which is uh, um, kind of like this, or to the side with two fingers. You can do uh, zoom, which is a pinch in or pinch out. And you can do uh, rotate, which is kind of, you move your fingers like this, or kind of hold one finger and rotate around. And then the last one is forward and back, which is kind of like side-scrolling, only you do it quicker. Uh, it's got a little bit more sensitivity um, for that. Alright, so let me show you what some of those functions look like with a, uh, a picture. I'm just going to open up a, a JPEG and preview here. Um, move this down here. So I can take this and I can zoom in by pinching in and out. Um, this is actually kind of easier using your thumb, but you kind of have to angle your thumb so that your thumbnail uh, won't respond to your thumbnail, just your finger, so I guess it's kind of a capacitive touch. Um, so you zoom in and zoom out, and then to rotate, you just kind of twist your fingers. Um, oops, let me select that again. And there we go. I've got one finger planted, and then I take this finger and rotate it around. There we go. A little bit tricky to get used to, uh, and then you can, once you get good at it, you can use, just kind of put two fingers down. There we go. you got to make sure your window is selected and that your, I guess your picture is selected. Um, so that's pretty much that. Let me show you some internet stuff. Uh, don't want to save that. And I'll go down to Safari here. Say we want to load up a website. And two finger scrolling. So we select and then 
just uh, scroll two fingers. You can change the speed and then when you let it go, if you flick it, it'll kind of scroll up for a second or down, um, which is kind of cool. And you can make it more jello-like however you want. You know, I kind of like a little bit more instant feedback, so I already changed that. And then uh, you can actually pinch to zoom in. So you can see you got to get a little bit used to using it. But pinch to zoom in, pinch to zoom out. And then uh, if I want to go back, I kind of take both fingers and swipe back and uh, forward, back, forward. And then if I zoom in here, then I can, if I slowly move this, let's see if I can, how much I can zoom in. There we go, now we've got a scroll bar. I can take this and actually uh, um, move side to side. And then if I want to go back, I kind of have to do it quick. But if I want to uh, just move, you just put your fingers on it and move it. So that's pretty much the basic functions. It just acts like a uh, laptop trackpad um, with some extra functions. So if you've ever used one of the new MacBook uh, Pro laptops that, uh, that have the multi-touch input, it's basically like that, only it doesn't seem to support three fingers, which I think would be better instead of having to flick to go back. Um, you know, it's easy enough to get used to, but if I just did three fingers to, to do back, and then if I, uh, you know, two fingers to go side to side when I'm zoomed in, that would be uh, a little bit nicer. So, anyway, that's a quick review. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, um, if I find any new functions, I'll do a more in-depth tutorial, but uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.